Hey guys, and welcome back to Dark Logic Studios' Attack on Titan theories and discussions. Before we go any further, I want to give you fair warning that these videos are going to contain lots and lots of spoilers. So if you're not caught up with the manga, then what are you doing with your life? Seriously though, if you don't want spoilers, you should probably click on something else. If you're all caught up though, then let's get to it. Hey, what's up guys? So with a new chapter of Attack on Titan right around the corner, and hopefully our main character is returning with it, I want to take a moment to kind of recap the story over the past several chapters. Take a moment to look at where we are right now and talk about some of the possibilities that could be happening as the story further progresses. Now at this point, a lot of people are just waiting for Aaron and the others to come back. We've been following these Marleyan characters for six chapters now. That's six months we've been away from our main cast and uh, I was along for the ride and I have enjoyed it. I do like this Marley arc. I think that it's really cool the way that he is showing the antagonists and showing that they're not evil, showing that they're just humans, and showing both sides of this struggle. I think that's really awesome. It's very rare for writers to do that sort of thing. That being said, I suppose there is a good reason for that, because when you stray from the main characters and the main plotline, it can cause the audience to kind of uh, lose interest, which is kind of what's been happening, unfortunately. But. Hopefully in the next chapter we will get to see our main characters again and I think that we will because like I said it's been six chapters and we've already gone through this whole thing. We saw Reiner's backstory, we saw his flashbacks back when they attacked the walls. This whole thing has kind of come around full circle now so I think it's time hopefully to switch back over and see what our main characters have been doing all this time. Now the question is how is that going to happen? At this point there's so many possibilities, and I've already talked about a few of them on this channel a while back. Now the last time we saw our characters was back in chapter 90, when they got to the ocean. You know, we had that big climactic scene, and I guess I can kind of see why Isayama put that at the end there, because we weren't going to see them for a while. But when we left these characters, it was just a short scene, we weren't really sure what their goal was, what they were out there doing, whether they were doing more than just exploring the island. But what we do know is that Aaron seemed to be fixated on crossing the ocean to the other continent and killing everybody. He seemed totally disinterested in the ocean itself. He just wanted to go fight. And presuming that the people on Paradise Island have chosen to fight for their survival, then that means there's a possibility that our characters and the Survey Corps have already crossed the ocean during these four years and have infiltrated the Marleyan society. And in fact, we do see someone who looks remarkably similar to Eren. And I talked about this in a couple videos a couple months ago, but uh, our one-legged hobo friend is definitely a little suspicious. And also, if we consider the ships that Zeke was talking about that apparently disappeared, that were sent to investigate Paradise Island but never came back, that would give the people on Paradise Island the perfect vehicle to cross the ocean. Rather convenient. Thanks, Marley. So with all those factors in mind, I do think that it's a very high possibility that our characters are already on Marley. Now, on the other side of things, we do know that the Marley and our warriors are planning on going back to Paradise Island. They're preparing one last mission to go and get the Founding Titan so that they can wipe out Paradise Island Eldians once and for all. So, that's kind of interesting. That means that this could go a couple ways. If Eren and the Survey Corps are already on Marley and they plan to attack, they could either attack while the warriors are still there, or they could start their attack once the warriors leave for Paradise Island. And I actually just thought of something while recording this just now. But this could very well happen, and it actually makes a lot of sense if you think about the fact that Zeke was being very shady, and he was the one who ultimately brought up the idea. He was the one who proposed the idea to go back to Paradise Island. What if Zeke really was planning something? What if Zeke, like we know Zeke wanted to save Eren. What if during these four years Zeke somehow came in contact with Eren or somebody in the Survey Corps, somebody on Paradise Island, and what if he was participating in this plan so that when Eren 
Baron and the Survey Corps attack the Marley, half their Titan power won't be there to defend it. That's an interesting possibility. But then again, that also leaves Paradis Island vulnerable. So who's going to be protecting Paradis Island? Would they leave half of their military power on the island? Would that leave them with enough strength to properly attack the Marley and defeat them? Or what if they plan to use the Founding Titan to defend the island? If their plan is to destroy the Marley and wipe them out, or what if their plan is to unleash the Wall Titans and just straight up destroy the whole fucking world? That could be a possibility. I mean, yeah, Isayama said that he wasn't going to kill everybody, but he was talking about the main characters, not everybody else. <laughs> so what if he keeps all of our main characters alive and just kills the rest of the world? That'd be pretty fucked up. But I can kind of see that happening. What would be interesting too, though, is if Aaron and the others infiltrate the Marley, Reiner and the warriors go over to Paradise Island, and they each attack each other's home really without the other's knowledge. Like they're just, they're focused on their own mission and they don't know that the others have already left to attack them and uh, they basically destroy each other. That'd be fucked up too. Now all that being said, it may be a little early for the whole final battle to get started. Now I believe we've got about a year, year and a half left of Attack on Titan chapters. We're definitely getting to the end, but I think I would like to see a little bit of our characters. What they're doing, what they've been doing, how they look now, what their feelings and thoughts are now that it's been four years before they actually engage in this battle. I want to know what's going on with them, where their heads are at this point. Like, I have no idea what's going to happen next, but hopefully it's not just all action though. Like, knowing that they've got arm in there, I'm hoping that this final, like, mission, this this climax, this finale, is going to be kind of this big elaborate plan that Armin came up with in order to succeed in whatever they're trying to do. Like I've been saying for a little while that like the whole thing with the Marley and the Eldians is that they have to destroy each other for the other one to survive. At least that's how they perceive it. But Armin, as has been hinted at and foreshadowed throughout the story is kind of a wild card. He's a character who can find solutions when there apparently is none. So if anyone might be able to find a way out of this situation, a third option, it's gotta be Armin. So what could that mean? What could he possibly be planning? Knowing Armin's character, I would think that he would try to create a situation where the least amount of people on either side had to die. As much as the Marley has done, I don't think Armin would agree with wiping out an entire population just to free themselves from their oppression. I think Armin might try to find a way to overthrow them, and I think that the Tiber family will probably have something to do with this. Now as they mentioned in the last chapter, the quote unquote Fritz family, not the real Fritz family, but the fake Fritz family that was standing in for the Reese family, who is the real Fritz family. <laughs> um, it's kind of confusing. They are not quote unquote subjects of Ymir, meaning they can't become Titans, I'm assuming, but they're still Eldians. That means that there are two different types of Eldians. Eldians that can become Titans and Eldians that cannot. And the Eldians that can become Titans are called subjects of Ymir because they believe that the reason they can become Titans is because they were descendants or followers of the original Ymir Fritz. So that means that whatever this Titan power came from, it affected some Eldians and not others. So why is that? Well clearly what it means is that having the ability to turn into a Titan isn't inherently in the DNA of Eldians. This isn't part of their race. This isn't what they are. Not all Eldians are Titans, and obviously that means that these subjects of Ymir have gone through some kind of change. Now again, as I've said before, I don't think that this 
is going to be something magical like the devil. I think that all that was just a big red herring and I don't think that this is something that naturally occurred like through evolution or something that would make no sense. I believe that these subjects of Ymir were turned into titans through scientific experimentation and I also believe that if this is true then that means that Eldians are not the only people who can become titans. I believe that potentially any human can turn into a titan. Any human could be altered in such a way where they could gain this titan ability like these subjects of Ymir. We don't know how that is yet, how they achieve that, but given all the evidence, the fact that they use syringes to turn people into titans, the fact that they use spinal fluid, all this stuff, it's definitely got a science fiction vibe to it and obviously it doesn't make sense with actual science that could never happen, but it definitely is science fiction. So that's how I believe that the titans were actually created and I think that that's going to have something to do with how things end up, how this story ends. And you know, we don't know much about the Tiber family, we don't know much about the fake Fritz family, but there's definitely something suspicious going on here. Considering the fact that the Tiber family have never used their Warhammer Titan against any enemy nations, definitely makes me think that they're not that loyal to the Marley, or that they have some kind of power over them, some kind of leverage, like a lot of people were saying, and I believe this is definitely going to play a role at the end. The Tiber family choose to betray the Marley if they're involved in some kind of plot to free the Eldians, then I definitely think it's possible that the Tiber family, Zeke, and our Paradise Island friends may be all in cahoots together already. After all, we did see Zeke on the cover of the chapter, or the volume, facing the other direction as the rest of the characters, which as people have pointed out seems a little foreshadowy. Maybe, instead of straight up destroying the Marley, the Eldians on Paradise Island will try to overthrow them and take over. I definitely see that happening, especially since we already had the Uprising arc, so it's kind of like, they already know how to do this. <laughs> as boring as people seem to think that arc is, I think it's a lot more important than people realize. And then of course we've got our young warriors, Falco and Gabby and the other kids, and Falco has decided to try to surpass Gabby to get the armored titan, and Falco, as we know, is very concerned about the fate of the Eldians and he wants to free them and he gets the feeling that Reiner feels the same way and we know that Reiner is feeling kind of iffy about his loyalty to the Marley too. He's having somewhat complicated feelings in there so the story could really go in so many directions at this point it's really hard to say what's going to happen. I'm also wondering what happened to our one-legged hobo friend. Last we saw him he was with Falco who was helping him put his armband on the right arm. If that is Aaron, then where did he go? What is he doing now? It's been a little time since then, so did he go to the hospital with all the other veterans? Is he just waiting, hanging out, waiting for something to happen? Waiting for his comrades to get in place so they can poise to attack? Or is he actually going to try to talk to somebody? Is there somebody that he's already in communication with, with the Marley? Could he try to negotiate? Is there going to be some kind of diplomacy? Or is this just going to be straight up mayhem? Tell me what you guys think in the comments. What do you think is going to happen next? Are we going to see Aaron in the others next chapter? Let's cross our fingers. Because much as I love you, Reiner, you're just not Aaron. I'm sorry. And I want to see Arwen as a Colossus. Come on. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to come back for my chapter 97 review when it's released. Be sure to check out my other Attack on Titan videos. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And check out my Patreon if you want to support this channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.